Hey everyone, I'm Multiple456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 28 of Let's Platinum God of War. Alright, let's try and do that uh, trick that I was saying where you run, hold, hold, and then uh, press R2. However, we do have to start with the axe, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, hit the scorn pole, run, R2, and do this. Punch, 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 quickly take him out. Okay, now we have to look for the next one, who's over here. Oh, that was... Oh, how did he not... How did his stun gauge not even go higher than that? I hit him exactly against the wall. Okay, and now we just have to deal with this guy, who is strong, so... And we can't really use our axe when he's where he's standing. So we're gonna get away from him, watch out, because he does this three times. Don't know how he managed to hit me there. Come on. Oh no, you don't. Oh gosh, I have no idea how to survive that. Die. Right. There we go. Did it. Oh, I did summon the wolves by accident. <laughs> Didn't mean to, but that's okay. And useful resources. The main reason we are here, boy. However, many of these chests have been emptied. Probably by the Reavers. I hope they didn't take Sindri's whetstone. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's collect this. Did I get anything special there? I, th I feel like I got a, uh... Why are these... Why are these listed as new? That's weird. Um, okay. Uh, we'll just quickly freeze that one. That- this room took me, like, a dead set like, I was gonna say dead set hour, maybe like 30 or 40 minutes to beat when I first got here on God, on Gibby God of War. So I'm glad that I uh, managed to do that in one go. Um, and I consider the heavy Draugr room from the previous episode much harder than that room, so I got quite lucky. But I guess I have a better strategy for that room, which is what makes it easier. I have a good feeling about this next room. Maybe we'll even find the whetstone. Remember what I told you about expectations, boy. Keep them low. I remember. Still, good feeling. <laughs> Alright, uh, you know what? Because this next one is a bit trickier, I'm going to grab this. I saw a little trick. We're going to fight, I think it's two revenants. I saw a little trick where you can actually keep them stun locked um, by doing this combo. So you just do the full punch combo and then you hold R1 to perform that move and apparently it keeps them stun locked. I'll give it a shot. I like, obviously have to take the first one out so that the other one doesn't interrupt me, but we'll try. I think it's two revenants. Let's see how it goes. Ah, oh. He was like just barely out of my range. Okay, let's wait a bit. You ready to block? Oh, wow. It's not often that I get the... Oh gosh. Okay, that's fine. No. Oh, I pressed L1 game. You're such a... This game cheats sometimes, honestly. I was pressing L1. I, I played that so well, and then it just didn't give it to me. But the most annoying thing was the beginning. He just... He was too far away for me to hit him with the grinding storm. Alright, I'll try that again. Maybe I'll tilt it a little bit. Are you kidding me? This time he actually... Oh, it was too close. Okay. All right, all right, I get it, I get it. I'm learning, I'm learning. Come on. Come on. That's it. And now look at this. I don't think I've done this yet. If you press R2 and you're low on health, um, he should give um, some health stones. Come on. I'm gonna take a bit of damage here. That should be fine. Come on. Where are you? Okay, good. Done. 
Alright, now let's try and take you out. Okay, let's try the tactic. One, two, three, four. This. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down. One, two, three, four. Okay, first time I've ever done it and it actually worked out amazingly well. <laughs> Alright, we found a tactic to take out a few revenants. Hmm. Nice. Double revenant is pretty tough. So I'm really glad with how that went. <laughs> that was incredible. So much for my good feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, this is where we stood over here, where we could see into this room from before. Alright, I managed to get another summon off, which was good. Um, it was useful. It kept them pinned down for a little bit. And I was able to show off that tactic. That that tactic, um, I don't know his numbers, but it's like Kevbot something. He holds the world record for beating this game on Give Me God of War in a speed run. Um, and I saw him using it uh, just like today or yesterday. And I was like, oh, that is a really, really, really good idea. And I'll try it. And it worked. So fantastic. That's one thing I didn't do too much of watching the speedruns for this game because there are a lot of uh, tips and tricks that you can gain from speedruns that work really well for just playing through the game. Oh, that's right. Damn, that guy had like no health. I don't know if I can... I let go of R2 exactly when I didn't need to. Did that count? Let me check. I think that counted. Uh... No, I don't think it did. I think it was on 17. I was ready for them this time. I saw. So I should keep my expectations low, but always expect an attack? It is a delicate balance. Expect the worst, assume nothing, and always anticipate an attack. Sure is a lot to remember. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and now this last room is... I'd say it's easier, but it's actually pretty tough. We're going to fight uh, like six wolves. Um, I really would like to have my wolves ready, but I don't want to wait, so let's just go. The best way to... Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> the best way to deal with this is just keep an eye on your... Um, on your threat indicator. And... Ah, oh, well, <laughs> they bit me very quickly. Um, I can do that much better, obviously. <laughs> keep an eye on the threat indicator, and um, when... Uh, when the when it turns red, just dodge like left or right, and you should be okay. Okay, let's try this now. I pressed L one game. Give me a break. Right, well, we've got our wolves back, so we may as well use them. Another good thing is try not to let them uh, uh, like increase their level because. Yes, I am. And I could use my my rage, but I'd rather not. <laughs> Alright, we'll try that again. This time I know that I have to press L1 a lot quicker. Run! There we go. There we go. That one, you pretty much have to stop that one from attacking because he's level 5 as well. Go, wolves, go! It's going well. So just keep an eye on the threat indicator, like there. There we go, see I dodged that at the last second. Got it. Nice. Nice, good, good block. Ah. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Okay, that happens. Come on. Mm. And... Done. Alright. So it killed me like two or three times, but we got it. No. <laughs> I know I shouldn't hope, but do you think we'll find it there? No. <laughs> uh, funny. Any others? No. Okay. 
So, destroy those, destroy that one. Uh, grab this, grab this, grab the, the entry stone. We're grabbing entry stones every time to place in the pedestal and then it's opening up like the next uh, rooms and everything. Okay. So now we go to the final room. Let's see what's waiting for us back there. I wish I knew what that said. That's an M. That's all I know. <laughs> Maybe I'll look it up and, and put it in a note or something so you guys can see. Okay. Very large open room. Legendary treasure chest. In this treasure chest is a very, very, very useful uh, runic attack. It is called Wrath of the Frost Ancient, a powerful ice beam that slows all enemies on contact. So you can see what it looks like. It's like a beam. It's very, very, very useful. So we're going to hold on to that for sure. Uh, also, as soon as you get into this room and open the treasure chest, uh, this very like light music plays, and it sounds like um, the alarm on my phone. Which and every time I see it, I hate it. Who are you two? Every time I uh, hear it, I get annoyed because I'm like, I don't want to wake up. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this guy. We're looking for a whetstone. Have you seen it? Aye, there was one in this room. My son sharpened his dagger on it right before stabbing me in the back. What? Little bastard thought it was his turn to lead my crew. I was hard on him, sure. Hmm. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. I did the same thing to my dad when I was his age. He killed his own father? Where is he now? Ha! <laughs> he may be a bastard, but he's my bastard. You'll get no help from me, fool. Then his dagger will help. Hey! That's mine! Hey! Come, boy. We are leaving. Okay. But before we leave... We gotta fight this guy. Just keep attacking this one. Try and avoid getting hit by the other one. Get it, get it, get it. Almost there. Don't worry too much about the nightmares, just focus on this one. Come on! How are you not... Yes, yes, come on. Uh, gotcha. Okay, that's pretty much how you want to win this fight. <laughs> I don't know if I've shown this off already, but yeah. There you are. <laughs> one more. Aya. Okay, we did it. Oh man, that triumphant music is so good. Dun, dun, dun. Lots of hack silver, lots of world serpent scales, uh, soft spartile fine steel. Oh, I wonder if we can talk to him again. I never actually thought about that. We'll talk to him again in a sec. And we get more world serpent scales, soft spartile fine steel, and more hack silver. I think that's it. Let's talk to him. Let's see if we can talk to him again. I'm not entirely sure. For a pair of pasty fiefles, you sure can't fight. I'll give you that. What's a fiefle? I have no idea. It sounds like it comes from, or well, like, might be something to do with fiefdom, because it has the same beginning. Hmm. Very strange. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle, as they say. <laughs> Why would his son betray him? Kill his own father? Over some treasure? It seems so greedy. Remember what I told you, boy. Assume nothing. Well, sure. He didn't seem like a great father, but... You only know half the story. I guess. Hmm. So, for those who don't know, there's a very big reason why Kratos is 
why he waited um, to say something when um, when he revealed that. And you kind of should have a look at the at least the cutscenes of the previous games to find that out. Um, all right, we have another ancient here. Um, he's fairly challenging using the tree as a so if he has a red circle then you're in luck because you can just do that to him if he has the hate when that happens if he has the uh, yellow circle you definitely want to use a tree to come on throw it oh yes and then you have to take care of these guys which I completely forgot about yeah I would say hold off on your uh, on your usage of um, Hell's Touch for this, and use it on, on these guys. How in the hell did I do that? That's amazing. Lock that. Red. Red is good. Well, it's good if you can... Good, good, good. Alright, let's do it. Okay, we're almost there. Let me use this as... Okay. Oh! <laughs> what happened? Did the did the rock blow up as soon as he died? Uh, I don't know if that counts. I don't know. I, I may have to do the fight again. I do have to do the fight again. <laughs> that was so mean. I actually won the fight. Uh, okay, well, at least I remember now how to do it. I'll use my uh, Hell's Touch when the the Draugr's show up. Okay, so for this guy... Okay, red is good because red means you can just basically pummel him with your, your axe. If you can throw all of them, that's amazing. Okay, good. They come. No, give me this. Stay behind a tree. He's so close. Ah, damn. That almost went perfectly. I just the Draugr was too far away. <laughs> ah, dear. Try that again. Um, just trying to think of like. I should probably yeah. I should probably let him get closer actually. I'm going to let him get closer and use this tree as cover. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, red is good. As long as you aim properly. One. Two. Oh, that was good. Probably no point in using... Um, Come on. Thank you. Come on. Gotcha. Alright, now it's just the... Lock it. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you get too close, he does that as well. Please don't hit me. Okay, good. One. Two. Okay, that should be enough to win. Okay, I get away. Phew. Alright, I actually, I really don't know what happened that other time. That is not an easy fight. I'll, I'll admit that one is, is pretty hard. Okay, what did we get? We got a uh, Seether Sigil of Toughness. Uh, increases resistance to poison by 50%. Stacks up to 85%. That's pretty good. Uh, we also got a bunch of steel. We got Ancient's Heart. We got, I think, Ancient's Rubble as well. There we go. Which now means we can actually create a piece of armor. And I was actually... Um, I was thinking to myself before, like when I was practicing this, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have created the... Uh, what do you call it? This one here, Metal plated waist guard because i i'm gonna replace that one now but it's still something it's all a, a minor upgrade it's still an upgrade so and we can still sell it if we need to 
which we probably will. All right, we did it. We finished Fafnir's Torum. Let me just make sure. Uh, yes, the only favor that we haven't completed is the one we're about to hand in. Maybe we'll leave that for next episode. Since we're pretty much out of time already, but yeah, it's uh, we did it. All right, so we'll stay here. Um, okay, so I want to thank you all for watching episode 20... What are we on? 28? Yeah, 28 of Lost Platinum God of War. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.